Hi folks, Kenny the Vaping Heed back again with another review. Um, today we're looking at something a little bit special. Um, you know, it's the next in line of the Kelpie range by Vaping with Vic and EH Pro. And we are looking at the Kelpie RDA. Yep. Long awaited for the release of this, haven't we? Right, but anyway... Um, what we'll do, we'll run a bit of B-roll, all that stuff. Um, I'll take it down to the table, have a look around, put a build on, wick it up, uh, and then I'll come back up and give me final thoughts on it. Um, but before we do that, you know, if you like what you see, um, which I will much appreciate if you would, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the share, hit the comment. Always, always love to hear from you. So, you know, if you can do that, um, much appreciated, you know. Helps us do what I'm doing for you, and um, I shall see you very soon. Cheers. Mm. Right, folks, here we are down at the table of the Kelpie RDA. Um, at the top, we've got an A10 drip tip with Kelpie wrote on, that's a nice little touch. O ring, as you can see, is inside, so you can probably put your own drip tips on. Um, I do apologize for being black, I may have to like turn the light on at some point, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with it for now. Um, your barrel. Your honeycomb airflow either side, nice little bit of a castle type engraving at the top. On the bottom, you have designed by Vaping with Vic, CA marks, EH Pro, no serial number. So it's proper I don't even know what number unless it's somewhere else. Um, yeah, so I'll whack it on. A mod, so I can pull the top cap off and we'll have a look and see what we've got. Just take it back off there. Bear with me. God, that's a deep match we will. And anyway, the top cap. As you can see, there's plenty doming inside. Hang on, I'll just see if the light will make it any better. Just whack the light on. There's a bit of reflection there, but you might be able to see. You've got two notches there, that'll lock it. Like lock the airflow so you can take the, the cap off and unscrew it. See your air hose. There's like a little uh, angle there where your air hose come in. As you can see that very well. See like it, the slot there where the air hose are. It looks like it's uh, coming in a bit of an angle. Um, there is some machine marks. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll need to try and get them. For, see here, if I can just get the screwdriver there. Hang on, come on, focus in. Really? Right. Can you see these there? They're just like a come on camera, there you go. The machine marks. Right. That's your notch. You can see these machines like a band there. See how the reflection goes there, stops and then goes again. That's such a machine and marks in there. Um had like a similar issue on the the RTA with a few machine marks, but I can explain this if you just want us to to help you out with that because this here I think is made in two pieces because if you look here that, that looks like a seam there. It, look, it almost looks as if you can turn it there but you can't. And then when you look inside here you can see here there's also like a tiny little gap down the side of there. So this has been made in two parts. That's my thoughts behind it. Um, hence you like the machine marks here. And I've done a little picture for you. I'll just turn this light off again for a minute. Um, just to explain. 
And there you have it. There's my little diagram. It's not the, you know, it's a rough drawn. Basically, this is what you have here is the barrel. This dotted line represents before it's been machined. So basically, they'll go on a CNC lathe, whatever. They'll come in, they'll remove all that material up there. Same, like both, you know, deep both sides, obviously, because it's circular. And then obviously, they may turn it round, come in from that end, machine that out, and leave the notch, which will basically leave, like, if you look from the top, like, like there, it'll leave, like, oh god, this bloody lighting's really crap. I'm really sorry. It will leave like like a ring, like a circle, leave like a full circle. And then basically, I don't know if I'll draw it. I might be able to draw it actually. So by yeah, I'll just draw it over here. So basically, you'll have like, if you're looking from the top, you'll have like a stepped, when it's machined, you'll, it'll be something like that. So basically what they'll do with the machine is come in and remove all that material out of there giving you a lot of imagine that's your cutter coming in and um, it might have been on a separate machine some say machines nowadays are combined you know they can mill and turn so basically that's how i think that's been done this piece is obviously being machined separately and basically that is comes into here where it's either pressed or glued or whatever it's been assembled that way giving you your, your top cap so i hope that it explains it a bit better that's just um my theory on how it's uh, been done so you know hence like the actual dome bit itself is pretty good machine wise you know there's no you can't see now with this bloody being black but you can see the the domey bit looks pretty well machined because i think that is actual separate part that's being pressed together like I said. Now, moving on to the deck. Um, I know when Vic done his introductory offer, uh, introductory offer, offer, done his introductory video, he said there wasn't nothing new come to the table. Um, you know, those bits of the Calpy RTA involved in, that was basically it. You know, it says it was like a 50 50 like design with um, him and Age Pro. So, with the decks, you know, it's, it's not, it reminds me a bit of a Kylan, you know, the Kylan Mini, the, that, that take half horseshoe where your coil sits in. Oh, there you go. Serial number. I've got number 19, apparently. Hey, hey, there it is. They put it on the actual deck. Oh, there you go. It's inside. Oh, my apologies. But anyway, back to this. You've got the the honeycomb deck and you've got like I don't know if you can see but like it's these elongated ones here like there and there they're the ones that are supposed to direct the air to the center of the coil and um, the reason that Vic explained that is obviously the center of the coil gets pretty hot um, and this helps to cool it down obviously make the heat disappear to the end of the coil more slow I'll obviously not burning the cotton on the ends of the coil so that's that's his thinking behind that it's got very deep juice wells um, you know I think they're about nine millimeter um, in depth um, he's got the hex screws now rather than the the dreaded uh, Phillips screws that were in the t uh, the tank that were awful um, and he's also we've got the positive block here now and the negative block here so that's changed slightly um, he did explain that these here are rivets because obviously I think those decks were going to be changeable or something at the time but obviously costs have just said no we'll stick with his design deck and just leave it riveted in and um, airflow kind of like it comes down it's almost like a top airflow when I show you the cap but it comes down here like if you see where the, the notch is there it comes hits in there comes down and goes in the hole like on there so it just comes so if you line that up oh, hang on my screwdriver's away off the chevel so if you line up the airflow with the bottom you can kind of see this bit here obviously don't be misleading seeing that the air is going to blow on the deck that bit there will sit inside you see that bit of the top cap there the separate bit the top piece that'll sit inside there so basically your air it's almost like a top airflow really because it's going to come in through these holes obviously come down that channel in there underneath and up and um, the only thing with I'm a bit 
I don't know what it's about. Is this this extra hole here? I don't know what that is. All I've noticed is um, when you put the top cap on and you turn it, when it's fully closed, it covers that one because you can't see how far you open or shut on the honeycomb due to it being, you know, like a top air flow. It's kind of like a mid-air type of thing, so you can't really see how open you are. You've got to like, it's probably like a feel type of thing, you know, you turn it, take a pull, see how you like it, turn it, pull it. But I've known it's fully shut, this one closes up altogether, so... I would like, um, you know, if Vic or any other reviewer can shine a bit of light on that for us, because basically I've got no other idea where it could be for. It's just an indicator to say that the airflow is probably fully shut if it's blocked off. That's the only thing I can think of at the top of my head. Um, so, where was I? So back down to the deck. Like I see, you've got your coil positions here, so you can have a leg there, leg there. Um, if you've got the opposite legs, so or if you've got the two legs, have a leg there and a leg there and um, it is um, as in Vic's words more squonker friendly than drip friendly and um, probably them big juice wells by the time you drip and it does soak through you know it's uh, it may take a while and plus obviously if you drip you've got to wait for it to soak with these type of decks you've got to wait for it like a soak through a bit before you take a pull otherwise you'll get a, like a, a a gob full of juice so what we'll do, we'll hide on a mod, etc., and we'll hide a coil on and a build on and all that shit, and then um, we'll see where we are. So, I'm gonna use everything that come with it, even the coils. Um, it's just you know, I'm reviewing this item, so I'm gonna review everything that's in it. But oh, before I go on, before I go on, hang on a minute, I'm gonna change out the as it comes with the standard 510 in, I'm going to change that out and put the squonk pin in. So, ooh, I've only got a little screw over here. It's getting it. Um, we'll whop that one out. Like so. Be careful because you can feel the deck moving. We'll whop this fella out here. Come on. There you go. Shake him out. Come on. There you go. Drop him out. And I'll get the squonky pin, and I'll get a coil with the spares bag. Um, so we've got a squonky pin. I'll use this Allen key for the time being, and I'll use one of the coils. I think the coils are just a triple core fuse clapping. The thing is, that's another thing with me, you know. Whoop, 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 there. there you are, it's a triple core fuse clapping. Um, again, no material stated. I don't like that by these bloody suppliers. So anyway, all we'll do now, well, that's the original pin. We'll put your, your squonk pin in there like so. And we'll just screw him back in like so, so we we'll know he's okay to squonk. There you go. I know where that fluid's coming from. Eh? It must be off me, me testing. I'll just put him to the side there for now. And then again, I've had a lot of squonker anyway, so the squonker's full. We'll whip them down on here. Right, if it bears, I'm just going to wipe my hands, come a bit claggy. Um, basically, with this coil, I'm going to be loosening that one and that one, so we'll, we'll loosen these fellas off. Like so. And pulled out. That one pulled out. Still don't feel very strong these legs, but you know, we'll go with it. And um, I think these are three, are these three mil? We'll have a check with the uh with my gauge and let the bloody thing out because I've got any nails. Um that is your three mil. Yep, the three mil cut yep, the three mil coils, there's my dupy dangler. Right, so it's a case of chucking one under there. And one under there. Come on. I've left enough room for that there just because it tick while I have a look because I'm going blind. Might never left enough room under there if you bear with us. Just uh, I'll loosen that screw up a bit more. I'll loosen that one out. Right, get under there, you little swine. Why are you not going in? Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. 
Doesn't seem to be going all the way in, does it? Oh. Ah, there you go. And so I've got that leg kind of in, so I'll just nip that one for now. Have I gone off camera? Sorry there. Gone off camera. I'll just, I'm getting this one in, so I'm just going to nip it down for the minute. Just to keep ahead of it. Like see it. And we'll spin this other one round and get this one in properly. He's not there, is he? Not quite there yet. Hang on. Get this fella through. And get him pushed over. I think it's because the flat coils are a bit of a, uh, a pain in the backside here, but I think I'm just about there with that one. More or less, I'll just pull him in a bit more. Get him over there a bit more and push him in. I think we might be there. Bear with us. Sorry, the view is not fantastic, people, but I'm just going to nip on that one. Just a case of positioning your coil over the middle. Give you air. Get him nicely sat down there. I'm not pulling, I'm pushing him down just a tad so he's pretty close to them air holes. Um, but yeah, I think that's not too bad. You know, this table is absolutely crap, everything's rolling off it. <laughs> I'll give him the final nip and the final nip. Right, that's it, sir. And if we get our snippies. Again, you've got to get right in close to this when you're cutting it off because you don't want it to be touching the side of the uh, the tank. Because I've I have done that in the past. I've you know I've left a little bit sticking out. Let's see how far that is. Not too bad. Yep, I can get away with that. So what we'll do now is I'll right on the top side jewel we'll get this turned right down I think so we can give them a little pulse um, yeah, around about there should do uh, we'll get that so the pulse they see in just nicely I you see it turn a nice colour looks pretty good get me plastic pliers and just give it a little bit of a nip and all let's see it yeah lovely then that's glowing inside out nice and hot as you can see this, this coil is coming out at 0.27 ohms on here just for any information uh, 26 watts so right <coughs> wigging I've got some Muji on the go I'm just going to peel it off either end do you like me Muji I'm afraid to say it you know especially for drippers well you know we'll get the Muji out roll it up a touch I'm sorry I've left this light on just because it's suddenly got rather cloudy and stuff so the lights cocked up again just feed it through nice and loose now I think you're looking about leaving with an inch on but I'm just I'm just gonna like maybe just maybe just like press it down and just put a mark there and a mark on there just because obviously you want this to you want this to go down to the bottom of your juice well and so again just roughly around where the line is just give that a snip just take the ends off that and what we'll do we'll just uh, fluff it out a bit you know make a little bit of the loose off as you do get all that off like so and then it's just a case of you know getting it and tucking it down that juice well I didn't, didn't ram it in just took it in itself just let it tuck itself down like so don't ram it in as you know, if, if you pack it tight it's it's 
on a bloody uh, note with properly where you just you know there you are you can just drop that in like so and there you have it so if you bear with me i'll show you my juice um, i'm trying another brand um right i've got it i'll just show you what this is it is king's custard og custard creamy sweet custard so we'll uh, we'll dab this fella up let's get him nice and saturated just on the top just let the, the coil soak a bit of stuff in you see it's starting to get a bit of vape now we'll just turn it up i think just a touch whack them up to about 40 watt ish again just nicely just you know just paint your coils let it soak in and then what i want to do is i'm just going to do a bit of a squonk just to see you can see it's soaking up there you go just done it so i've just seen it before it was coming out um, and like you see your top cap back on and we shall now take it back up top have a vape and i'll tell you what i think yeah cheers right folks here we are back up top looking at the kelpie rda by eh pro and vaping with vic um i'm vaping on some the king's custard oj custard the juice um the coil that I put in is reading 0.27 ohms. I've got it at 80 watts. Airflow currently fully open. And we'll have a gun, eh? Hmm. Hmm, wow. Oh, wow. That's good. That's really good. Holy crap. That's the flavour is banging, it's just mint. Um <coughs> excuse me. So what do we think of this, eh? The long awaited Kelpie RDA. Um I've, I know Vic has like it was a fifty fifty partnership um when with this one, um whilst the RTA was all his own work so to speak. Um I think he was more involved with the deck and obviously the the chimney, you know, the dome and all that. The more than actually the internals in EH Pro with obviously the design of the externals. Um so he didn't have hundred percent you know choice on decisions that were made by EH Pro. So with that in mind, it's still a pretty clean looking RDA. Um Airflow is it's pretty restrictive actually. It's not a big one where you you know you breathe through it practically. It's um it's a little bit restricted. I've got that fully open and even though there was a bit of restriction there, it's 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 just spot on it's perfect for me, it's absolutely bang on. <sighs> Flavour is immense. Um I've tried dripping it but for me, this shines as a, as a squonking RDA. This is what it's made for, in my opinion. Um, you know, when you drip these these ones with that type of deck, you've got to wait for the juice to like kind of soak through and, and drip through. You know, down into the cotton and down into your your juice. Well, otherwise, when you take a you know pull, you just get a gob full of juice, and it's just disgusting. So, I kind of think that this is. A squonker. It's just a squonking RDA. It's as simple as that. Um, to be quite honest, you know why you put a normal <laughs> normal pin in on the end. You know, it's, it's a squonker. That's the first thing you're going to do is tap that pin with the bottom. Put your squonk pin in. Put on the squonk mod. It's just as simple as that. That's what this is for. This is where this shines. You know, it still performs as, as a dripper, but it performs a hell of a lot better as a squonk, without a doubt. Um. He's got his um, 
his airflow is quite high, so obviously that's obviously so you if you over squonk, you know, you it's gonna be bloody hard to to flood it out. Um I mean I'm not not hundred percent sure as this but we've seen the footage when we can see it. It's that little hole at the bottom of, I don't know what that single hole's for. Um the only practical thing I see is when you close this all the way down, you can see that hole get closed off. Um and obviously yeah, yeah shut. So uh, unless it's an indicator to say, oh shit, the airflow is fully closed, or, or not, I don't know, because it's probably a bit of a con. This when you when you turn your airflow, with it being up so high, you, you can't see. There's no like little door that comes over that closes it off, uh, and you can't like see how many holes you're vaping through or where you've got set. You've just basically got to try your turn it, try it till you get the way you want it. You know, so you, you can't really see, but. For me, max airflow is spot on. I um, turn it about say half way ish, you know, so um, red. Sorry, but for me, max airflow is just perfect. Um, so that's, that's probably a con, you know, you can't see where you're at regarding the airflow, you know, how many holes you're closing up or whatever. You're just kind of like closing like the whole ledge off rather than the actual individual air holes so that's probably a bit of a con for me you know i'd like to see where i'm at but again it's you know you can you can turn it and puff and feel it and hopefully it doesn't move but you know that that's that's like you say yeah it's con i don't go down with a con i'm you know i'm trying to be reasonably fair here and that's it's a bit of a con for me um only other thing that I really found again was them just poor machining again I mean it's, it's not entirely not Vic's fault really it's just the the D8 Pro you know the machining for well, especially this first batch is absolutely poor you know I mean I explained obviously the milling bit inside uh, down the tail but even on the deck there was still a couple of sharp edges and a couple of burrs here and there you know so I'd say the machining needs to be brung back up to scratch a touch. You know, wait a touch. I said, no, it needs to be back up to scratch, you know. Um, I had the same issues with the RTA. You know, I had a lot of burrs um, and machine chat out on that, you know. So, I've, you know, for some reason, the machine on these items is, you know, below par. Um, but, you know, that's that's all inside anyway you can't see it you know but just if there's any burrs you know you just got to be just just check it over just generally if there's anything just get it scraped off you know like a, a sharp edge or something just get them off because obviously if it's a burr and it comes away you don't want to suck a lump of metal down your lungs you know what i mean but that, you know that's that's down to manufacturing you know what i mean that that would go across the board with any manufacturers you know make sure you you know you get rid of the burrs and polish them up and clean them up etc you know that's part of their end you know the quality control so um but that's probably mainly it really i mean um there's nothing new as such like i said vic said that there's nothing innovative you know it's just uh he's combined a bit of this off his off his uh rte onto this or he's put a few things onto this he has improved it by the screws he's got the hex heads instead of them horrible 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 phillips screws i had in the rte so that's a big thumbs up for that one. He's, you know, they've improved that. Um, the airflow, they can say they've got them elongated slips in, like slots in now. So more there hits the centre of the coil, um, which it is working. It's, it's spot on. You know, the, the top cap doesn't get that hot either, to be quite honest with you. Um, the, see, the, even the airflow itself designed that that little half half circle it reminds us of the kyla name you know a lot of them's got that kind of half shoe you know the single coilers rt is rd has got that excuse me that little like half circle where you, your coil sits in but he's just he's the configurations of his um his honeycomb holes are, are different um so you know that it's it's nice you know it, it does it does what it says on the tin more or less you know what i mean it's it's cracking Flavour wise, it's absolutely top notch. It's the flavour is absolutely cracking off it. I mean, Jesus, 
feels like I could just take a pretty good swig of that and it'd be near different, you know what I mean? It's really, really good. Um, and that's what you want at the end of the day, you know. People, it's, it's, it's not all about the looks and stuff like that. It's about, you know, the practicality and, and it does what it does, you know, it does what it says on the tin type of thing. So, for me, apart from, like you say, the, the machine and that, you know, it's, it's, it's bloody good. Cloud production, as you can see, lots of it. And I mean, I'm only sitting there on 80 watts with a 0.27 ohm coil, and you know, I'll probably crank it up a bit, but I'm comfortable with that. You know what I mean? I don't want to end up burning my ass, me, me bloody throw it out, my ass out, and that type of thing. But, um, yeah, um, what else? What else? There's nothing much, really. Um, easy, easy piece to build, easy piece to wick. You know, I mean, for that Muji cotton, I put a length of Muji cotton in. Theoretically, I probably didn't really need to snip it down. I could have just fluffed it out and stuck the whole lot down, you know, because the juice well is that deep. Um, so I could have gotten away with using a strip of Muji cotton and just, you know, fluffing it up and trimming it down a bit. That's it. I could have probably bung the whole lot in there because um, the juice well is, is nice and deep. Um, obviously for a reason, for your squonking. Um, I've never over squonked it yet, so that's a good thing because normally some you get in the come with the air holes. I'm just wondering if that little hole will probably be a level as well. I know if you over squonk, it will probably come out with that little hole first rather than spew out the the big hole. So at least you know you've got less to wipe up and you know that you've over squonked. I wonder if it's for that as well. So you know, Vic or any other reviewer who has a look at it, you know, if you know what that hole is, you know, please let one know. Like, you know, um, that's the only reasons I can think of. Maybe it's an overflow over squonking or it's a, an indicator to say that you're fully closed um, I'm not 100% sure with it but uh, bar that flavour is fantastic honestly oh. but this like I say it's even easy for beginners you know it's a single coil it's relatively easy to build on it's easy to wick on you just tuck your wicks in Different cram them in, different tight, you know, in a way you can. It's, it's, it's a doddle to build on. It's absolute mint. I mean, when you've got big fingers like me, it can be a bit fiddly, like, because I mean, I've got huge hands. But um, generally, it's a piece of cake to build on, you know. It's uh, Them hex screws made a hell of a difference. You know, you can get a nice little nip on them. So, yeah, people, it's, um, I like it. Um, I really do. Um, you know, I don't know. I've never seen any other reviews up for it yet, um, as such. Any proper reviews, I should say. But um, all in all, I think it's good. I think it's a good little, good little RDA. Not the best flavour on the market, you know, because obviously your dual coil RDAs will give you a better flavour. But at the moment, it's the first single coil RDA I've, I've got of 2020. So up to now, it's the best single RDA of 2020 um, by a mile. Um, and it is... It is up there with some of the good RDAs with flavour. I mean, I can't knock the flavour. It's absolutely spot on. Honestly, it's... Oh. And there you go. Just a couple of squonks there. Bang, we are gone. I'm not even getting any spit back. And that's probably due to them deep wells full of cotton. You know, they're, they're absorbing that juice straight away. And there's no spit back at all. Nothing. And the wicking keeps up pretty good as well. <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> Got a bit of a cough there. Anyway, but, yep. Yeah, all in all, pretty good job, Vic. You know, like you said, wasn't nothing new come to the table. You know, he's just moving on from the RTA, um, adding a bit of stuff from the RTA into this. And um, all in all, apart from them few little flaws, which are probably it's Pro's fault, um, with machine, etc., I've got no qualms with it. I think it's a spot on for me. Um, you know, I, I'll be honest, I don't drip that much now. Um, and this is probably going to get us back on to, you know, using these little RDAs. You know, I don't think like I say, I've, I've never used them for a while. Um, and this could get us back on it. Um, oh, what do you think? I know Vic sent me his introductory, retail, uh, introductory video that this will be the final retail box. 
uh, that it wasn't. Well, this I've bought this retail, and it is because you mentioned about it's got here. I can barely see it, but it's got a vaping with Vic project. It's very faint under there, and you were saying that um, it was something to do with them, you know, the font or the colour, whatever. Um, you couldn't see it when when it was printed. When you you can't because when you look at that with the naked eye, see from from there, you can't see that. So this is still the box that he had on the review, more or less. And now bought this from a retail supplier bought it as a customer and the box is still the same so um just thought i'd let you know with that one because they haven't changed it you can't see it unless you're really close so you it's you know it's pointless it being on so i just thought i'd, I'd mention that just in case you know you want to chase them up etc but bar that everything's there does what it says in the tin, the spares you get with it are adequate, you know, you've got your screws, your O-rings, the usual scenario, um, and yeah, I've, I've got very little to no complaints on it, um, but it makes up for flavour, flavour is absolutely spot on for a single coil RDA, you, you kind of grumble, so I've got the 3 mil coil in that came, I mean, pff, could probably put maybe as a... a Four, maybe 4.5 max um, but obviously your OD would go up a bit so I would say probably 3 is probably your best to stick with you could put a slightly bigger one in but I think you may lose a little bit of the flavour like but uh, you know because obviously it's taking up with a bit more room and reduce, restricting the airflow even more so stick with your 3 milli coils on this and you'll be a happy bunny so you know without um, blabbering on too much about this you know um, would I recommend it? Yep, yeah, all day. You know, it's, um, it's a cracker. Flavor's spot on for me. It's a champion. Um, I'm happy with it. So, with that being said, I've been Kenny the Vape and Heed. Stay safe. Vape safe. And I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers. Bye now.